resting in him is not inactivity the rest part is i'm putting faith and trust in you god and there may be some activity connected to that amen one of the things the bible says in genesis chapter 6 verse 8 says that noah uh, found grace in the eyes of god and the name noah literally means rest so rest found grace Rest found grace. And in Matthew chapter 11, verse 30, Jesus said, Come to me, all you that labor on a heavy burden, and I will give you rest. But then he immediately says, Take my yoke upon you. And that yoke represents service. Uh, well, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And so we don't stop working. We just stop working on our stuff. That's the rest that God is calling us to. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 10, the biblical definition of rest is when you cease from your own works. And so now no longer is no longer is my marriage the focus of my attention. His will is now the focus of my attention. I've ceased from that work and now I am resting in the will of God. Anybody in the room? So no longer are the children the focus of my attention. That was my work. And now I am resting from that work. I'm committing my kids to Christ and I'm focusing my attention on the kingdom of God. That's the rest that we enter into. Or we continue to labor and struggle and experience anxiety and stress over things that we really can't change. So we work, we labor, and we struggle. As the pastor said, to try to get that promotion, and we can rest from that work, focus our attention on how God wants to use us in the workplace. Anybody in the room? Amen. So we leave that work alone, and we begin to focus on will of God, the purpose of God, the plan of God for us in that environment. So the biblical definition of rest is when you cease from your own work. It's not to disengage. It's not to become inactive. It is really to re-engage with your true purpose for being on this planet, the kingdom of God. 